Hey After Buzzers, thank you so much for tuning in to another Better Things After Show here at After Buzz TV. Tonight we're recapping season one, episode seven titled Duke's Chorus, and we actually have a very special guest Skyping in, so please stay tuned. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. After Buzzers, thank you so, so much for tuning in to another Better Things After Show here at After Buzz TV. I'm your host, Sam Davidson. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at SamD43, joined by my lovely co-host, Renee Ariel. Hey guys, I'm Renee. You, you, you can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Renee Ariel and on Snapchat at the Renee Ariel. And guys, as promised, we have a special guest here Skyping in, none other than Duke, also known as the beautiful little actress, Olivia Edward. Hi, Ooh. Olivia. Oh gosh, you are so cute. It's gonna be hard to like not just stare at you and like I'm just sad you're not here, so we can't hug you. Um, thank you so so much for being here. Where can everyone find you on Twitter? Of course. Whoops, got a little loud there. Um, <laughs> Olivia, where can everyone find you on Twitter? Uh oh, I think we might have a mute situation here, Alexis. Hold on, guys, unless you can hear her. Just one moment. A couple technical difficulties. It happens. Happens to the best of us. Totally happens. Oh, there we there go. There we go. Okay, we're back. We hear you, Olivia. Okay. Okay, perfect. So we're thrilled to have you, and I don't know if the fans caught. Where can they find you on Twitter? Um, At LadyOlivia125, it should be. Awesome. Awesome. So this episode was all about you, Duke. Yeah, where can everyone find you on Twitter? Yes. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so what was what was it like having your own episode? Was that really exciting or nerve-wracking? That was super excited. In the beginning, I was a little nervous, but then I got super excited. I was like, I have my own episode. This is exciting. I know. And how old are you, nine? Yes, I'm nine. Well, it was such a great episode. I loved watching you in chorus, pretending to sing, and then just not sing at all. Duke was Duke not, not having like it. it. <laughs> <laughs> do you uh, do you have the same feelings about singing, Olivia, or are you actually a fan? Um, I actually really, really love singing. Duke, did, I don't think Duke likes singing that songs at all, but I really like singing. I started singing when I was about four years old with my singing teacher Karen Sussman and she recorded me singing part of your world from Little Mermaid and when my parents heard me they cry and then I got to sing with Kristen Chenoweth last year oh my and God. she called me up and I sang for good with her oh my god and then it was it was really fun it was she was one of my idols and then I got Annie Get Your Gun, which was, I think, the same year. And I got to sing with Megan Hilty and Andy Carl. <gasps> oh my God, That's I love amazing. Megan Hilty. That is so cool. I oh wonder. Oh my gosh. I'm sure we can find some of that online on YouTube. Yeah. We're definitely going to look it up. I can't wait to see that. That is really exciting. That's so incredible. So oh my gosh. we start off this really adorable scene, you know, chorus, Duke doesn't want to be there, <laughs> Sam takes her out, is kind of relieved that she doesn't want to do chorus anymore, but Duke has kind of a friend, non-friend. I think we've all had those when we were little, that it's like, yeah, yeah. oh, our parents mm -hmm. make us play together, but I yeah. don't really like this person. You're like, I didn't choose this friend, you chose this friend for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did that ever happen to you when you were little? Because, like, on the show, Sam and Duke have, like, a rule. It's like, you need to ask me first, Mom, I before making a rule. play date. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I when you were in preschool and stuff. One friend that was like that. Yeah, it's yeah. you know, it's hard sometimes. Not everyone gets along. I know. Did you have that same agreement with your mom about you gotta let me know about these play dates? Yeah, <laughs> I'm usually the one asking her for the play dates though. Like, but she, she'll like, but if she's gonna ask, like, do you want to play date with this person? She's gonna. I'm going to have to say like, when's it gonna be? What time? Yes. And how long? <laughs> gotta get the deets. Gotta get the deets. <laughs> And Morgan's a really interesting little girl. That's, oh my gosh, yes. yes. <laughs> what was she like in she, real life, the little actress? What did you say? What was Morgan like in real life, the actress that plays her? 
She was actually nothing like her character. She was so nice to me. She, we actually had a play date because we had so much fun together. Oh, that's so cute. Wow, that's adorable. So what do you like to do on play dates? On play dates, I like to, um, baking is a lot of fun. Sometimes we'll go and make some pottery at this pottery place. Maybe we'll go on a trampoline for a little while or do some gymnastics. Or we'll make these fake music videos or trailers for movie or movies on this app called iMovie. Ooh, that's awesome. Or we'll, or we'll watch some of our favorite TV shows. That sounds like a lot of fun. It does. I <laughs> think I might pick up a few pointers from you. Uh, no, for like future hangouts. Yeah, me and Renee <laughs> will uh, jump on the trampoline and bake. We hang out a lot, we so do. we're going to take some tips from you. <laughs> so again, we have uh, Morgan, and then we meet Morgan's mother, Trinity. They are Mormon, and yeah. you know, it's a very kind of different religion and way of life than the way Duke and Sam and the rest of the girls live. And there were some interesting moments between Sam and Trinity. Yeah, especially yeah. that like introduction we had to Morgan and Trinity. Yeah. Yeah. I, oh my gosh, I was just watching this. Be like, how is this happening right now? I would be so upset if someone just like gave me their I, child without like letting me know. Like, if I have to do something for someone, I have to be in complete control. I have to. <laughs> I have to be able to know the time. Yeah. I'm a planner girl. I feel you. It was very frustrating to watch because I felt like I was like, if I'm a mom one day, <laughs> this stuff is going to happen to me. Could you imagine? Because then you can't like, you can't leave Morgan there. Yeah. You have to take her. But the mom and the mom wasn't even, Trinity was not apologetic whatsoever. She's like, yeah. And then I love that Sam was like, well, can you get her before six? And Trinity act like that was like a burden for her. She's like, yeah, like, I guess it's I like, can oh, make that work. Well, you know what? Yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, she does pick her up. Trinity picks Morgan up and Morgan comes down in like a get up. You were yes. playing the Grammys. Wasn't that right? It was yeah. the Grammys. Yep. <laughs> yep. I'm sure that was a ton of fun. I used to play dress that up. That was so much fun. Loved dress up. Yeah. Me too. Did uh when you were shooting this episode, Olivia, like did were there any scenes that didn't get put on or, you know, was was there a lot of fun going on behind the scenes? There was a lot of fun going on behind the scenes. Actually, the makeup that was on us, we actually got to do ourselves. So we got so we had to pick from all these different lipsticks, and, and since Ivy want, since Morgan had to wear pink, she decided to go with pink, and and since Duke had to wear black, I decided to go with red. Oh, that's fun. awesome! That's a lot of fun, and I think that both you, Duke, and Sam's character, you know, kind of grew to like these uh, this mother and daughter duo yeah. by the end of the thing. Yeah. It's a cool message that, like, people that are different, believe in different things, have different lifestyles, like, they can still get along and find common ground. Oh, yeah, there was definitely a parallel, yeah. for sure, with uh, Sam and Duke this episode. Just see, And I loved seeing the different relationships evolve through this episode and how yeah. they evolved differently because they're, I mean, huge age difference and just, like, very different people, but both mother and daughter, and I loved it. It was really sweet to watch. I loved it, yeah. too. So do you, you know, being... Sam's daughter on the show. How do you, I mean, well, first of all, Pamela Adlon, like how, what is she like? What's it like to work with her? Do you kind of feel really close to her? She is so nice. She is so super funny. One of these things that she would do is for some of the funniest episodes to make it really real, she would not tell us what's going to happen. She would tell us their lines, but for the funny parts, she would let us know how we would react or how our character would react. So she would just leave us hanging until that happened. That And that's actually really fun. Oh, that's sure. awesome. I love that. Definitely. This show is so real. And that, I guess that element does really help. That's really cool. Yeah. So do your parents let you watch every scene in the episode or just yours? Well, my... My parents usually screen all the episodes first, and then if there's, like, nothing inappropriate or bad in it, then they'll let me watch it. Good. Well, that's fun, but I totally understand as a parent. There are some moments in here where oh, you're yeah. like, oh, yeah. <laughs> totally, totally. Which is one of the reasons why Duke is my favorite character, and it's so refreshing seeing this little innocent 
girl who is so cute just and she's so honest kind of be thrown into the mix it's a really nice just kind of yeah. change yeah i think duke is my favorite daughter though for sure oh yeah like <laughs> definitely i think she's so cute and i mean with Max, especially in this episode, I'm like, I just want a Duke. I Let, just want a Duke. Uh, <laughs> Let's yeah, Max was really mean to her. Max? Uh, I want to ground her. Like, I'm not even her mom. I just want to ground her right now. I know, but here, the funny thing is, Mikey is, not, is like the complete opposite of Max. I don't know how she does it, but <laughs> she's like the complete opposite of her. That's crazy. So do you, have you become friends with your sisters on the show? Oh, yeah, they're like my family. Pamela, like, thinks that everyone should bond, and we did. We had a sleepover before we taped to get to know each other a little better, actually. Oh, it was so fun. Awesome! I know, I just got the chills. That's so Oh, cute. my gosh. But, yeah, Max in this episode, I think it was the uh, last episode or the episode before, we were like, okay, Max is getting better. She's, it's getting better. And then I was like, yeah. no, no, she's not, not this episode. <laughs> I had hope, she, too. She builds up. And then she starts all over again. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the whole scene with Uber. Oh, the lift. I could, yeah. Oh, Lyft. Was it Lyft? It was Lyft. I could not stand that. She was just like, well, what do you want me to do? It's always her whining. She always is a whiner. Yeah. Every I know. She's episode. like, I know, like, I hate you. And then yeah. if that's not going to affect her mom, she has to say something that will. Mm-hmm. It's really funny, actually, because I have my cousin visiting, and she has a five-year-old son that's staying, you know, with her and with us, and um, yeah. I watched this episode, and then I literally, right after I finished this episode, I heard Xander, who's my little cousin who's five, just be like, I hate you, Mom! And my cousin was like, Xander, I don't care. That means nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, like, a just very similar, <gasps> even though oh, that's awesome. lasts forever. I really hope Duke doesn't turn into that. I know. Yeah, Duke is... Duke kind of cares for her sisters. She she cares for her moms, and she gets really frustrated with her sisters when they're yelling at her mom because she sees it from her mom's side. Which I really like because someone has to. Someone in the house yeah. needs to, for sure. Absolutely, and I just hope when you grow up, well, do when Duke grows up, it doesn't shift because who knows? Maybe Max and Frankie were that sweet. Oh, yeah. I, I no, I don't want to watch Duke turn into a Max. Please no. <laughs> I don't want to play her. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen. Oh, well, let's talk about this church. This you know, oh goodness. So Duke was talking to Morgan, and all of a sudden Duke is totally like, "Let's go to church, Mom. I'm so interested." That yeah, must have been fun. She kind of wants to, because Duke likes Morgan. She, Because that's when she's starting to like Morgan. And she's like, you know what? I've never been to church. They go to church. You know what, Mom? Can we go to church? But then she's like, I know it's going to kill you, but I want to go to church, Mom. Yeah, and she knows. She's very wise, Duke. Duke is very wise. Possibly the wisest daughter yes, Sam has. It's very true. Yeah. And uh, then Frankie jumps in there, and... Oh, yeah. Frankie! Oh, my gosh. Have you ever tried to fake plans to get out of something else? And then I've never had someone be like, no, you don't. You have no plans. No, you can totally do this I other know. activity. It's like, like, you just ruined this. Like, you just showed her that I'm lying. Yeah! <laughs> then you just... But then he just ruined I don't want to go to that. You're supposed to be on my side. Exactly. Exactly. What I think was one of my favorite parts of this episode that must have been so fun to play, Olivia, was when you're in church and you, you said, oh, God, I think twice. And Morgan spits every time. <laughs> <laughs> I loved that. <laughs> And then you just like they start talking. Morgan starts talking about Jesus and why there's no cross. And yeah. oh, I mean, for even your ears as Olivia, that's just such a, I mean, interesting new thing. I, I didn't know. I actually didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Yeah. I and mean, you learned something too. Obviously. Yeah, I learned something too. Like I read the script, I was like, oh. <laughs> Learn something new every day. Who knew? <laughs> and then when Olivia is sitting, or when Duke is sitting in church, and she looks back at her mom like, uh-oh, what did we get ourselves into here? Like, no one ever told me about this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you looked so concerned after she said that, um, what, did, what did Morgan say, that Jesus, when Jesus not comes... not going to live our full lives. Yeah. And then Duke's oh. like, what are you talking about? And Duke just looked 
terrified after that. She's like, why didn't my mom she's tell me? They're like, everything's like okay. <laughs> and what, like, first of all, to start off with, that's that's the boy my sister's gonna marry. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> but then springing on the, we're not gonna live our full lives. Duke's like, wait, what? It's like, what's going on? What did I sign up for exactly? <laughs> <laughs> I think Sam would be really, really mad. Yeah, Sam had no idea that happened. Yeah. Duke would I, th I think Sam would be especially mad at Frankie. Like, I told you, I told you this was a bad idea. Yep. Well, you started this, actually, Duke. <laughs> little, yeah. Duke, Duke wanted to go to church. Like, I'm going to ground you for a week. I'm going to ground you for a month, Duke. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's one of those things. It's a mix of cultures, a mix of ideologies. You're looking the, on the world. Um, and after church, things are not going well for anybody. You know, Sam has had it up to here with Trinity. And yeah. uh, and she she breaks down. I love I just love Sam's character. You Me know too. I love that she stood up for herself because I. Okay, in the beginning when she completely brushed off yes. the fact that Morgan was going to come over and like did not say anything to Trinity about how inappropriate that is to just invite your daughter over without telling me, but I love that she like completely stood up for herself. And then I love that moment that they had when she found out why Trinity did this and why Trinity was having an off day and why yeah, they judge each other. Because in the beginning, she, like, she was like, oh great, now I have one of these moms in my life. And then like Trinity keeps like building up and judging her and then like Sam can't take anymore and she yeah. has to like let out everything on Trinity. And then Trinity starts crying and then she's like, oh God, I let out too much, what's going on here? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And then they had a really sweet moment where they just related to each other. And that, yeah. that's very important. That's what's formed a sort of friendship now. Yeah, and that's also what I love about Sam's character and anybody in life, I, I think I'm like that. I think Renee's probably like that, we're awesome. But you know, <laughs> it's like you speak your mind and then if you realize you hurt someone's feelings, you, 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 you push back. Some people don't, some people are like, yeah, I wanted to make you cry. But and that's not, no, like, no you bueno. deserve that, but other people are like, oh, God, I went too far. Are you okay? Exactly. And I love that Sam, how, how she has that moment, how she is very emotionally intelligent when it comes to other people. And us, and then she can connect with them after. It, what didn't, she didn't hold a grudge. She related. And then she's like, ooh, I, she, I think she just needed to understand Trinity and where she was yeah. coming from. And once she did... She relates to her. She bonded with her, and I really liked that moment. I did. It's like too. You, you, she, they started off so bad, and then they, and it's it's like Duke and Morgan. They started off like Duke started off like, no, I don't want to do this, and then they became friends. And that same thing with Trinity and Sam. Yeah, it, exactly. I think Duke's character and Sam, you know, they really were parallel, like we said earlier, and it's cool because it's a very young person and then a mother which is, you know, yeah. significantly older. And it's you see them go through the same things with yeah. another pair of mother and daughter. And yeah. I've, I really love that. I also, I love the scenes when Sam puts you to bed. Those are oh, some of my yes. favorites. Yeah. Same. And so, you know, she puts you to bed and starts asking you some questions. She asks you a question about Ned, who earlier in the episode when we were at Chorus, there was a little, you know, Ned hit on... Sam pretty yeah. hard yeah and you know Duke picked up on that right away and knew that there wasn't gonna be he didn't really want to play date with the kids yeah yeah that's the thing Duke is so smart and I love that even though Sam was trying to be like coy and trying to be like oh but like he wanted to have a play date with you like tell me about him and Duke's like okay yeah she didn't want to play date with me he likes you yeah. like super flat out I loved it <laughs> And I also loved that Sam was like, can we, can I look in your backpack for the roster? And <laughs> Dukes was like, Duke goes, I told, you said that my like, backpack. Mom, so my backpack's private. <laughs> <laughs> loved that. I loved wish that. that could be my ringtone. <laughs> Mom, my backpack's private. <laughs> Every time someone <laughs> calls, you could record it. That would be amazing. I would totally buy it ringtone. for 99 cents on iTunes. <laughs> <laughs> So but those scenes like that, that Sam puts you to bed, they happen almost every episode, and there's just something about Duke that is so childlike and hilarious and cute and adorable. Like, how how do you do that? Is that what happens when you get put to bed usually? It's like, uh, Mom, no. Well, it depends. If I went, like, through something that I didn't want to go through, that's exactly how I would, I would act. But if I, I just came back from, like, uh, let's say a party that... That didn't last very long, and it was fun. 
I'll probably be like, wait. I'll probably like my mind will actually be awake maybe. Yeah. And it'll actually understand what's happening. Duke's <laughs> mind was like half asleep. Yeah, she's like, I'm done. I'm done. Going to bed. I'm checking out. Loved it. She's like, it's 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 not blue anymore. It's black. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. Oh, I love that. And you know, Sam, it's one of those things. Sometimes women know things in the back of their head that they don't want to admit. Like, you know, a guy friend that you're very close with, he has a crush on you, but you just want to say, no, he's my friend, he's my friend. But deep down, you know. Yeah, you're in denial, mm -hmm. totally. With yeah. This, yeah, with this Ned situation, I mean, from the beginning, I thought, this isn't cute. This is not cute to me. This is creepy. He wanted to take you, Duke, and, yeah. <laughs> and he goes, and come over later to pick her up. Yeah, like, Duke doesn't really care about who's taking her. She cares about who she's going to have to deal with while it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. And, you know, we find out from Trinity that uh, Ned is a bit of a dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Sam didn't seem to mind, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. We have some more questions for you, though, Olivia. Okay. okay. So one of my questions is... What was your favorite episode to shoot? My favorite episode has to be Duke's chorus. Yeah. Because I got to do so many scenes, and I met a new friend, Ivy. Oh. Well, I think this was my favorite episode, too. It was a really, really cute, funny episode. Um, you are such a phenomenal actress. How did you get into acting? Well, when I was a baby, basically. I used to pretend like I was a character from these TV shows or that I added a character in these TV shows. And then I started singing these one hour songs that I would just make up and run around that house singing them. And then one day I was watching a Gap Kids commercial with my dad and I said, hey, why, don't I, why, why am I not up there? And he looked at me like, and he looked at me like I was crazy and he said, you mean Dan and play, dancing and playing with those kids, I said, no, why aren't I up there with them doing what they're doing? Well, I want to be there in that box. And he said, oh, okay. And then he thought, this, guy, this girl's crazy. <laughs> but then he started to see that I really liked doing this, and I got a manager, and it went on from there. Oh, that's my God. awesome. That is really awesome. And, you know, you're so young. You just really started your TV career a few years ago. I mean, you were born yeah. nine years ago. And you've been in some of the hottest shows. Obviously, Better Things, The Unbreakable, Kimmy Schmidt, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, yeah. Mysteries of Laura. It's so cool. How has each experience on the show differed from each other? Well, in Unbreakable, Kimmy Schmidt, I that was a lot of fun. I Even though I had to say one sentence, I met, I met Tina Fey, who was so nice. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. On Mysteries of Laura, I played a bully who was really mean to these two boys. But sometimes it's good to play these mean people. Oh yeah. Because first of all, it's really fun. And second of all, you can get all your frustrations out. I agree. And then on Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, I played Madison who has a YouTube channel and has these pet snails. <laughs> and she's a fun character. And then on Better Things, of course, I play Duke. And I'm, and every time I play her, I learn more about her. I'm always, I'm every time I play her, I'm always like creating onto her. So I get to do that more since we have a second season. Oh, I know that's so exciting. I know I cannot wait. Gosh, the show, honestly, the show just keeps getting better, and I'm so excited <laughs> to see where they're going to go with it. I'm like, it's just so good every episode, and so funny and so real. Um, what is a role that you would love to play one day as an adult? Well, have you ever heard of Doctor Who? It's on BBC. Of yes. course. Well, I would love to be one of the companions because I'm a huge Ooh. Doctor Who fan. Oh my gosh, that is about the cutest thing I've yeah. ever heard. <laughs> I have like a Doctor Who poster that I got at Comic Con um, in my apartment. <laughs> I love it too. I have this big cardboard cut out of the TARDIS, <laughs> and I'm thinking about putting it in my room. That's awesome. <laughs> That's amazing. So you are a series regular in this show, Better Things. You know your first one ever series regular role. How did you find out you got the role? Like, tell us the whole story. Well, I taped a recording and sent it in and then they called me for a callback 
in New York City. So they came to New York City, Pamela. And I went for the callback. And I waited about one week. And then I got a Pamela call my mom. And I answered the phone. I was like, hello? And she said, hi, how are you? I said, good, how are you? She said, good. And in my mind, all I could all I could think was, is it going good or bad, good or bad? And then she said, so I have to ask you a question. I said, yeah. She said, will you play Duke on my show? And I said, yes. I, I felt like it was kind of like a marriage proposal for some reason. <laughs> and, then I handed, and then I handed my mom the phone, and after the call was over, I, I was singing and dancing all around my house, screaming, oh, my God. And then after that, of course, I had to celebrate with cake. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cake needs to be in every celebration for sure. Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> and one of my last questions, I think my last question is, is there a specific scene, you know, that you remember shooting that everyone just couldn't stop laughing? There is this one scene. I, I don't know which episode it was in, but there were, we... Me and a whole bunch of other kids, we were doing a food fight. I think it was two other kids. We were doing a food fight with flour and raw eggs and, like, olives. And I have to say, the amount of flour that got in my hair, <laughs> it took five showers to get all the flour out. Oh, my but, gosh. Like, all of the cameramen had to wear, like, bags so they wouldn't get anything on them. But everyone kept laughing. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. That sounds really fun. That does sound fun. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it's season two is coming. Or, yeah, do you plan for that at all? Like, are you thinking about, mm, what's going to happen to Duke next? How am I, I going to do it? Or are you just going to wait to see what they give you? I'm, I'm doing kind of both. I'm waiting to see what they give me, but then I'm kind of thinking, ooh, what if this happens? What if Duke <laughs> says something and everyone's like, oh, my God, I never saw the side of Duke. <laughs> or I didn't know Duke did that. Or really do like that so stuff like that so i'm really excited for that oh, we're very excited as well so are we well do you have any more questions renee i think that's it yeah okay cool well olivia we're gonna say goodbye to you now thank you so much oh my thank God. you so much for joining us we loved having you we did and thank you yeah guys if you want to tweet at olivia you know and ask her more questions follow her i am so excited just because i feel like we're going to see you grow into this really fascinating funny beautiful actress yeah and we got yeah. to talk to you at nine years old that's so exciting it really is yeah. so thank you and thank you to your mother your sweet mother she's amazing thanks of course all right bye honey bye, bye. Oh, that was, it hurts. She's so cute. Yeah, it hurts how cute she is. Oh, my gosh. That was a lot of fun. Um, that was well, so much fun. We really appreciate her coming on again. Yes. So thank you to everyone that helped make that happen. Let's get into some predictions. Let's do it. And now, your After Buzz TV predictions. Okay, I think that Sam is going to continue running into Ned, and I think something's eventually going to happen, but I think uh, from what Trindy said, I think that's going to make her be a little standoffish, and then he's going to continue to try to pursue her. I also think that Max is going to continue to get really bratty and push her mom and push her mom until she explodes. Yeah, I think it's going to be taken to a level of, like, Sam or Max having to be bailed out of jail. Ooh, probably going to happen, yeah. Yeah, and something kind of scary possibly happening to her. Um, I don't know. I, I just think that it's kind of all going to come to a head. And I think we're going to see more of their father. We didn't see him this week, mm -hmm. but I think in the last few episodes we definitely will. More with Phyllis. Good old Phyllis. Oh, Phyllis. Love her so much. And... Yeah, I mean, probably because we didn't see Sam's career this week. We'll see it next week. Yeah, yeah, I, I hope so. Yeah. I do love seeing her in her scenes. Oh, my gosh, like last week. I missed last week here, but I loved that sitcom she was in and that guy, that annoying actor. Oh. So great watching her work. It really is, um, and I love it. It's all very real. Well, yeah. thank you all so, so much for tuning in. Renee, anything else you have to say, and where can everyone find you on social media? I think that's about all I have to say about the episode, but you can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Renee Ariel and on Snapchat at the Renee Ariel and check out my blog, catslipstickla.com. 
And guys, I'm Sam Davidson. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at SamD43 and online at SamDavidsonEntertainment.com. I just want to thank um, Lauren Walden Designs. Have you guys seen this necklace? It's one of the coolest Ooh, things I've that's ever so pretty. seen in my life. And you can follow them at Lauren Walden Designs. I will tweet out the link. As well as Luna B Jewelry for this awesome, awesome bracelet. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. And we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, see you later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only. They do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.